That bicyclist fighting for his life, and police still haven't arrested the driver. Now, this all happened near the intersection of St. Rose and Maryland Parkway on Sunday, which was the 11th, a date with significance for the victim, Mark Bobis. Ryan Maffey joins us live there now with why investigators are having a tough time with this case, Ryan. Yeah, guys, the Vobis family continues to grapple with that grief. A driver hitting the 53-year-old man and leaving him on the side of the road. And to make all matters worse, this crash happened on a day of remembrance that hits a bit too close to home for this family. I didn't know what to do. I just wanted to go to UMC. It just was so... I couldn't think straight. Jennifer Vobus recounting the phone call that her husband, 53-year-old Mark Vobus, was involved in a hit and run. About 8:30, I received a call from the University Medical Center saying that they found him. Someone found him unresponsive on the side of the road. Henderson police say a driver hit Vobus from behind, throwing him to the ground, destroying his bike before driving off. It feels unjust. It feels. Hopeless. Described as a man with a passion for helping others, the date of the crime all too coincidental. Vobus was a first responder in New York City on September 11th, 2001. Well, he was um, on the streets of Manhattan. He was protecting the streets and helping people, and providing first aid. And now he lays minimally conscious in a hospital bed with life-threatening injuries. Unclear at this time, he'll recover from. This is one of the few that we haven't had any solid leads on. Henderson police officer and traffic investigator. Investigator Mark Rasmussen saying they have no leads, no witnesses, and no video evidence. Why we're asking the public to come forward and assist us with anybody who saw anything that time and was able to see anything related to that crash to please come forward. Now, police tell me people have come forward who responded to the scene. No one who actually saw it happen. That's just part of what's making this case so difficult to solve.